So these are all the things that you asked, right? So scenario outline, hooks, test runner, reports, data table, regular expression, and Maven. So Maven. And, uh, uh, do we uh, do we use glue while running our script? In the test runner only, it will include. Okay. In the test runner itself, it will it will get covered. And uh, maybe I, I, I thought I have completed this one scenario outline and data tables from this list. Maybe you people have some doubts in the scenario outline how to design this one. Uh, in this scenario outline, we need to cover with the concept of parameterization, hooks, test runner, reports, data table we covered. Maybe you people have uh, some doubts let me know what are all the things that you need to uh, that you want me to discuss in data table or you want me to discuss the complete thing related to data table and uh, regular expression uh, uh, yes regular expressions we will discuss maven configuration part we can discuss with this maven configuration so in apart from this configuration from the configuration in Maven, we don't have any specific uh, design purpose or designing purpose or anything else like that. So main thing is configuration here. Anyhow, we'll look into this configuration at the last session. But um, out of all these things, first we need to talk about scenario outline. In this scenario outline, we need to have the concept of parameterization and then hooks anyhow we'll discuss along with the data sets test runner execution we'll discuss reports after execution data table already discussed if any doubts need to give clarifications so regular expression basic level while doing parameterization maven configuration so apart from this anything else that you want me to explain oh sir earlier my question was uh, like you write the code everything you, when you have to when you have to check in the code to the repository like svn or git or beanstalk and then you commit the changes and you push it to the remote repository so are we not going to cover all this or cucumber in cucumber it doesn't require are we not cover after that are we not covering this in our session uh, in cucumber training or are they generally don't use any kind of git repository or beanstalk or that repository generally that repositories we are not going to use in this cucumber configuration but deployment or continuous integration will be happened along with maven here the term we can use like maven and jenkins yeah exactly so from maven how is it going to pull the test cases into jenkins that is what that we need to discuss in the configuration session so generally the process okay. will be like generally the process will be like in the last session we created one project right mac uh, normal cook project and we executed some basic uh, script level things but we haven't covered the parameterization yet and we need to cover that part but anyhow uh, irrespective of the conceptual ways like parameterization external data sets and all those things irrespective of those things once you create the project or when you are creating the maven when you are creating the project so directly we are going to create maven project in our real time so by creating this maven project in the in this real time automatically whatever the scripts that you are designing that will be integrated with maven once everything has been done once the script designing and execution part has been completed we are going to give the same maven project name in the jenkins tool then when we point this maven and jenkins simultaneously the 
project name what you have been created in the eclipse the maven project name what you have been created in the eclipse that will be fetched automatically into the jenkins if both names are matched then jenkins is going to integrate or deploy the complete set of scripts what you have been designed and that will deploy in the server but server deployment we are not going to talk about that server deployment but how to build and how to have this continuous integration part uh, along with maven so we are going to check with this in jenkins Jenkins continuous integration tool if both are getting my point Harshita Yes, yes. Yeah in the Jenkins if the project name what you have mentioned in the Jenkins tool is not matched with the Project name what you have uh, been created then automatically the build will be failed if both are matched and there are no issues in the script level design then the build will be successful so that we are going to monitor whether the build has been uh, deployed successfully or failed or with warnings or with errors so what are all the errors if we are going to get that we need to sort it out and that we need to fix once the errors are fixed again we need to deploy this build in jenkins tool but all this will be this will be happened only one time integration but build can be updated for multiple times by clicking on execute button that's it the oh. configuration will be happened only one time suppose let's say for example uh, in this session uh, two, two, two attendees are there right so maybe you, harshita and shiva prasad karo suppose harshita designed few automation scripts related to cucumber scripts in the maven project and shiva prasad garu designed um, few uh, cucumber scripts in his system so if we want to integrate both in the single system maven will be useful and the repository or the storage location where you are going to deploy these two uh, these two sets of automation scripts or cucumber scripts into jenkins will be happened only with the jenkins continuation in integration tool but after that after one day or two days you people are going to add few more test cases into that particular project then how the maven is going to identify or how the jenkins in, is going to identify the extra or enhancements in the scripts what you have been performed at that time already you have done with the configuration part of maven and jenkins now you are adding few more automation scripts or cucumber scripts into your project once you added those things automatically when you click on execute button in the jenkins automatically the updated scripts or enhancements or new scripts what you have been added to that project will be deployed into that particular folder so uh, this this is all about the configuration that we need to do only once for a project but we can reuse the build upgradation process or integration process for n number of times okay so that but any changes made in the scripts unless you click manually but, in the jenk in jenkins it's not a manually process we have scheduled also we no, have been no. I'm familiar with the Jenkins tool, but I'm just saying, just say today I have written my scripts. Tomorrow I come back and I change certain things. Okay. So it will not automatically pull whatever I made the changes, right? Because there is no repository. Yes, yes, yes. Because there is no repository for that. Obviously, okay. for uh, in from the initial session, what we discussed here is for Selenium WebDriver, there is a repository as a GitHub. But whatever the scripts that we are designing, that is our job that we need to design. But it's not about the concept of repository. The repository will be your system only. There is no server repository for uh, script designing part and automatically integration part that we have. Is it? Yes. So what you heard, do you have any, any doubts in this? Like, uh, did you see any repositories for Selenium? Yeah, like we will have one local repository and remote repository. Once, whatever I write, it will be in local and then I, I just commit them to the remote repository. Whenever I make changes in the remote repository, automatically Jenkins will know that the changes have been made in this particular class or no, because we will be giving all the plugins and the repository link everything so it, it will automatically polls every second and it will know what changes have been made and 
the point what you what you are saying is different and the point what i said is different so you are saying that if any updates are happened in the class files automatically jenkins will identify and it will uh, and it will identify the updates what we have been done in the scripts that is 100 percent correct jenkins will identify that one but i am saying that when you are deploying the build deploying the build is all in the hands of the users who are using jenkins here deploying the build is different automatically updating the script is different no no this understand? is different i mean yeah i'm not comparing with cucumber uh, i'm just saying in selenium that's what happens right ah uh, see uh, see harshita uh, there are two things here you, you are thinking that always in the real time whatever the scenario that you said is 100 percent correct in the market everyone is following the same thing maven project they are going to create and jenkins they are going to deploy if there are any updates in the automation scripts design that we have designed that will be automatically reflected in the jenkins tool or somewhere else it is going to be identified that is 100 percent correct but okay. You, you asked me a question related to the repository where we are going to store all the scripts in the centralized location but i am saying that there will not be any centralized location or repository that you whatever the scripts that you have that you are being designed here you are saying that you are going to save the scripts or you are going to deploy the scripts in the remote server okay right remote desktop you are going to your remote remote machine you are going to save the scripts right yes so how you are going to save the scripts from your local system to the remote uh, mission it's all about again configuration yeah clicking on commit button is not enough for that you need to configure that remote machine in your jenkins tool or in your build deployment tools then only once you click on no, commit button, i'm i'm saying from local to remote and that is what in your local system you need to once you click on commit button automatically that scripts will be deployed in that remote server yes that is what you are saying right yeah that will happen when it will happen means once you are doing the configuration with remote server then only it will get happened yes but i am saying that there is no default centralized location for selenium or cucumber okay did you understand my point now mm -hmm. any doubts still any doubts <laughs> no i'm good no I, I i think you're not satisfied with my with my answer like when you say centralized well, i mean i didn't get that clearly when there is no uh, see, centralized uh, okay. repository, 10 people are working, at least everybody, our code should be visible to everyone in the team. Uh, uh, what I am saying and what you understood is different. Okay, let me explain you in this example. Uh, we have downloaded Gecko driver in Selenium. We have Gecko okay. driver, right? So yes. from where you are going to get that Gecko driver? From the seleniumhk.org. Uh, no, from GitHub. Okay, from GitHub. Okay. GitHub is the storage location for Selenium web driver. Okay. And not only for Selenium, not only for Selenium web driver, for complete Selenium, what is the repository means GitHub. GitHub. Okay. Right. Even for if you want to also. download any. Uh, if you want to download anything directly it will come it, it will come it will download it from the GitHub repository or Maven repository. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with this point? Yeah. So when you are when you are talking about or when you are learning about Selenium, in the Selenium we are going to have the point called GitHub is a uh, centralized repository for this Selenium. Means when you are trying to download anything, you are going to get all the files from the GitHub repository only. But if you want to clearly see all these things, what happened from the GitHub, when you click on Gecko driver, it will navigate to GitHub and you are going to download that Gecko driver from the GitHub, uh, GitHub repository. This is one point. Second point is Cucumber. When you are downloading the Cucumber, we are going to get all the Cucumber related drivers from the Maven repository right search.maven.org we navigated to that url and we are going to download all those things right or wrong yes now i am going to explain your point in this way so repository is not only the storage location what i am talking about 
centralized repository in my point of view what i am saying is uh, in your point of view you are saying that your team is having 10 members 10 members are doing their work and 10 members are designing the cucumber scripts or automation scripts once they have done with that script designing part and they are going to click on commit button that commit button will deploy all the scripts in the remote server means in the centralized location everyone can access that particular scripts of uh, uh, everyone can access all the scripts in from that remote server that is what you are saying yes so in your point of view centralized system is nothing but where you are you people you all people are you 10 people are saving that particular scripts or you 10 people are deploying the scripts in the remote server yes yes now in i got my, in my point of view i am saying that centralized repository is not only for the 10 yeah. members it's all about the public related thing that is what i am yeah. talking about in my point okay. of view. okay okay yeah yeah so centralized repository or network folder or shared folder in is specific to the uh, project or organization in your point of view so yeah, i'm talking yeah, about in general way okay so okay. See, in jenkins is there jenkins tool is there even i am also using jenkins you you are also using jenkins if i log into jenkins means your project details will not be displayed to me my project details will not display to you that is yeah. just for the deployment tool where you are being configured with your system only mm -hmm. are you getting my point now yeah yes when you install jenkins in your system you are going to configure your maven project your system maven project to that jenkins but you are not able to see whatever the maven project that i have created in my system mm -hmm. until and unless if it is in lan connection then you are going to see my project right your team is having 10 members right yes so in 10 members everyone is everyone created their own maven project mm -hmm. in their system everyone created their own maven project once they have designed the scripts they are going to click on commit button mm -hmm. once they click on commit button automatically the scripts will be deployed into the server or integrated into the server by using this jenkins integration tool right or wrong yes right right so how are you going to create 10 projects in the jenkins no only one project will be there in the jenkins which will be connected to your 10 systems mm -hmm. if if one system is going to add into your team like 11th mission is going to add into your team then what will happen again we need to connect that particular 11th mission to your jenkins yes yes 10 members are there you all people has been connected to jenkins integration tool once you click on commit button that all the 10 people design scripts will be deployed into the remote server this is what happened in your environment if mm -hmm. one person is going to add to your team then that system has to connect to jenkins or not it should it should connect in that case everyone will have only one project where it is pointing to the common project in the jenkins mm -hmm. that is what i am saying so okay. here jenkins will have only one project that will be visible to your team and where you are going to deploy or where you are going to commit all the scripts into a single unit and you are going to deploy that in remote server which will happen only with the integration tools not only with jenkins we have so many integration tools but current uh, market is using jenkins integration tool for their integration purpose okay because it's an open source or uh... it's an open source yes okay it's an open source understand any questions no, no yeah no. and here the reports concept will be discussed along with maven so when we are creating maven project it will be very clear for you when we are going to discuss about the reports based on the maven dependencies what we are going to create in this maven what we are going to create in this maven and apart from that any any specific questions in data tables or do you want me to repeat the, repeat the concept complete concept Sure, I don't sir. even remember, sir, data table. Like, what exactly it is? I don't know if I missed the class or. <laughs> what, Harshita? 
just <laughs> give a, give a, give overview of data table like <laughs> just like uh, uh, shiva when i okay. uh, discussed about the data table uh, so we faced with some issues like uh, it's not able to iterate the second one ah uh, okay fine okay, okay 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 that that we will discuss fine yeah the data table concept harshita we discussed about uh, this concept passing the data from the feature file uh, only one data we passed and second data when we are trying to pass from the excel excel file we are uh, sorry in from the feature file we are uh, getting issues so that is what we need to discuss that is nothing oh. but the concept of data table i was uh, okay okay now i'm clear. okay i, I was so, getting that this data table and scenario outline concept has been linked at that time scenario outline is nothing but we created one scenario in that scenario we have uh, created one one set of data and we passed that set of data to that particular automation script and we executed that one when we are trying to pass the second set of record through this table it is unable to execute and we got some issues over there and we need to um, we need to clear that one okay <laughs> need to discuss about multiple set of records that needs to be passed to the automation script fine so any other things guys so you can you also add some interview questions to that list okay okay, okay. i'll add interview questions important comments so means what are all the standards that we need to follow so coding standards we'll discuss interview questions at last hooks and one more thing here we can discuss about tax or Okay. And, uh, and one more thing is like uh, are we following any uh, folder structure like a uh, framework so cucumber is a uh, predefined framework right so are we going to uh, design any uh, framework like hybrid or something using this hybrid or we are not creating any framework here so bdd itself is one framework what we are using now but okay you are asking one question stating that are we going to create any new frameworks based on this right yes yes uh, we are not going to create we are going to communicate with the hybrid framework okay okay like okay let me explain you this one also communication between bdd and hybrid framework so here uh, we can choose either test ng or pom not a problem so any other questions guys so yeah, here uh, bdd yeah. BD is famous with j unit right than test ng bdd yeah, bdd I mean, is the cucumber tool basically I, i saw people writing in j unit j unit is hybrid framework it's not bdd no no j i'm saying j instead of instead of test ng i saw people i mean online when i see their scripts they are oh. using j unit framework mm, 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 mm. okay okay i understood your point here the j unit is a framework which is related to the development environment and n unit is also the same thing but j unit and n unit is having the drawback of execution controlling so how to control the execution of the script 
they don't have any specific uh, uh, criteria to execute the script when we are talking about JUnit and in unit if you browse in Google even you are going to get the information like JUnit and in unit or developer related frameworks test ng is related to testers as well as developer related frameworks why we have this comment means JUnit is the framework which is completely supportive to the development team so here when we are talking about development team they are not going to concentrate how the script execution is going to be happened how the program is going to be happy but they always used to concentrate is the program executed successfully or not but when we are talking about test ng in the test ng the execution control so the how the execution should happen in the particular script suppose your script is having 2000 lines of code so you don't know how the script is going to be executed in that particular 2000 lines of code there may be a random way or there may be a sequence order there may be a um, set of statements order we don't know but if you want to control the execution like step by step or first statement second statement third statement like that you can use test ng framework if you are going to use test j unit or n unit you can execute the script but there will be a random order there may be a random order there may not be a random order there may be a sequence order even so we are not sure about that because of that reason j unit and n unit are supportive to development development environment and coming to test ng it supportive to developers as well as testers related environment we can have that one j unit test cucumber with j unit cucumber with test ng we can execute that one also maybe uh, when we are talking about the concept of uh, regular expressions we will have the concept of annotations from the test ng I think you, you know about the concept of annotations in test ng at the rate test at the rate before at the rate after right I know yeah basing on based on that particular annotations we are going to have the concept and uh, we are going to categorize so if you want me to explain j unit I'll go with j unit if you want me to explain test ng any framework is fine for me but all frameworks means it, it, it's completely time taken process again so what do you prefer Shiva it's uh, I, I, I prefer test ng because it's all as I said generating the reports and uh, um, report generation process uh, as well as configuration as well as interview point of view as well as tester point of view as well as automation developer point of view test ng we can go with test ng framework why because uh in future also we can use the same framework when we are developing the automation script but in our real time we may or may not work with j unit because as i said it is completely development uh, supportive environment no sir i was asking uh, the other shiva <laughs> oh shiva prasad garu yeah it's up to him anything is fine for me okay hello Yes, yeah, uh, what? is fine, so yeah, okay. is fine, as you said. Hmm. Anyhow, I, I'll, dis I'll, I'll discuss about the J unit also in brief way. I'll explain you what is the process related to that. But if you have any questions, meanwhile, just we will discuss about five to ten minutes about J unit, nothing more than that. But we'll concentrate more on uh, test ng framework testing along with this cucumber so what is the communication happened in between these two things so anyhow we are talking about cucumber right we'll discuss the communication between this cucumber as uh, cucumber and hybrid framework which is nothing but test ng how it is going to be happened how the script execution is going to be completed maybe uh, i'll take uh, two more sessions for you like saturday and uh, sorry thursday and friday so i'll plan to complete these topics first theoretically and then practically I'll, I'll complete these three these three things meanwhile if you have still if you have any questions just uh, message me or you can ask me in the tomorrow session because anyhow uh, even I don't know how many concepts are uh, pending I thought to complete parameterization is the final concept that I need to complete so that is the reason uh, I make this session to discuss with you about what are all the doubts that you people are having and what are all the pending concepts that we need to discuss mm -hmm.